Just ask the guys, you know, thoughts on starting both games with a deficit and just how hard it is in the in the playoffs. You know, three goals, four goals. How hard is it to to crawl back? Oh, it's hard. Yeah. And like I said yesterday, I like their first period. They happened to capitalize on their power play. We had a couple of good chances. They had a couple of good chances. And scoring chances were tough to come by in the first for both teams. Um, but the way we played in the second is really, at the end of the day, inexcusable. And we dig the hole that we just can't come out of, you know. And we were able to do it the first night. But I felt like the first night, it was an evenly matched game and they just capitalized on some and we would need to do the same to stay with it. But to, you just like sort of our base of play last game and game two just wasn't good enough. And and that's hard to climb out of. Harder than if you're playing well and, tra and trading some chances here and there and you just can't capitalize. That's a game of hockey. But uh, game two just wasn't um, up to the standard that we want to have, especially in the second period. Do you give the guests a day to marinate on it and maybe start addressing that stuff tomorrow, you know, things specifically from the second period that you want. Oh, to yeah. Do. Yeah. Yeah. That's all the time we have. So you get in the morning, we'll go through all of it and get them set for the evening time. And if we need more time in the evening, we'll do that as well. Today's one year from Gabe's surgery. Um, I know you said he's never come back early, but is he, he's been skating for a while. Is yeah. He getting any closer to joining the team for activities? Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't think he's there yet. Yeah. He is he is uh, making progress though. Like his, the work he's doing both on and off the ice is the intensity is gradually getting greater and greater. So that's a positive sign. More resistance, harder work. Um, you know, as much as it will allow, while still being cautious. Yeah. He, because he's whatever he does actually practices wilderness game for a long time. Is it? Do you expect him to be able to? I don't I can't answer that. Yeah, I don't know. It's too much of an unknown. Like we don't know. He's he obviously getting like I said, more intensity to the reps he's doing, the length of time he's on the ice, the work he's doing on and off the ice is increasing. So that's the one positive sign that we have. Yeah. You um when I asked you about the, the top line last night, um, did you watch anything? Since then. Yep. And just like that was, I don't know, I'm still trying to find the last time that Nate Amico didn't have a shot at five on five. Just yeah. what what they need besides the like since they need to work the wood, is there anything that they need to do differently or better? Well, there's lots. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when you go no shots, you know, in a playoff game or any game, there's lots that they can do better. It starts with being a connected group as a forward line and working with one another. And the, like I felt like they were isolated a lot last night for me and. If you look at some of the lines that have had success for us in these two games, um, and not just on the score sheet, but like successful shifts and, and putting Dallas under duress at times with whether it's their forward checking, ozone play, um, having success on breakouts and moving through the neutral zone, they're connected together. And, and you know, like I said, the Trenton line has done a really nice job of that, playing within the structure of our game and, and um, you know, playing off one another and with one another with very little rest in their game. And, and they've, they've done a nice job through two games this series, and they get rewarded on a nice goal last night because of it. Just like last year, as you split on the road and then you come home for two, what do you like about that opportunity to, to come home on home ice and kind of have that advantage again? Yeah, I mean, well, when you're starting on the road in a playoff series, like, uh, I mean, you steal the first one. You're certainly hoping to try and go get another one and really put a stranglehold on the series. But I think going into it against two very good teams, you're looking to make sure you go on the road and get one game, you know, and, and make sure that you're, um, you know, there's a little bit of a feeling out process, but be able to go and get one on the road is a positive sign. We did that. We know we haven't played our best yet in this series, and we were able to get a, like a result in one game. and. We got to go and better our performance and come home and take care of home ice. You know, like that's that's where we're at. We we feel good about coming home and what we still can accomplish in this series. Yeah. You get the comeback win in game one, and you come close to the comeback in game two. Is that something that's motivating for the guys, knowing like even if we're down for nothing in the second, we can come back. I, I think it's 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 positive like it's a belief i think that we have in our room and it's not just exclusive to dallas it's with 
anyone that we play. And I think like last game two is a if, if you break it down, you have a pretty good first period that's c close and, and uh, you come out of it short, uh, one goal, and then you, you go into the second, you don't play well, you see what happens, you come out in the third and play, you know, uh, really hard, competitive, more detailed hockey, more connected group, and you see what happens. I mean, you don't have to look very far to, to, to see what you should be doing and trying to do repeatedly throughout the course of the game. Yeah. You said last night. Table's fine, but sometimes things like that can pop up. Is he still feeling? Yeah, still feeling good today. Yeah. We didn't ask you about it last time. Were you like okay with the response? Did you think there should have been more of a response? No, I was okay with it. Yeah. Yeah. What are you going to do? Go take another penalty that you're already been shorthanded so many times. You're trying to win a playoff game, you know. Good. Yep. Thank All right. You. Thank you, guys. Thanks,